what's up fellas so uh let's continue really uh no foreplay here uh i'm like i barely even want <laughs> to describe how the last playthrough went long story short i was an idiot um this guy was my vassal but he inherited this title so it became independent and took away a bunch of my counties. While I was in the middle of a war trying to get these counties here, he became independent with these counties and cut me in half, basically. And I lost that war, but then I immediately broke the truce and took my land back. So we're basically right back where we started uh, last time. I do actually own Ibiza here, though, so that's a, a benefit, I guess. Um, let me think. Uh... Basically, this time, we're going to continue where we left off, basically. I'm going to try to take more land from this guy because he's weak. Which, when he seceded, when he became independent, he had, like, 7,000 men. And now, all of a sudden, he's got, like, shit. So, um, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just start it and see where we go. Um, I'm a pretty hated figure because I broke a truce. I got excommunicated because, uh... This guy is Catholic. So I'm in a bit of a bad spot in terms of uh, people liking me. I'm trying to sway the Pope so I can maybe get this excommunication overturned. Um, let me kill these peasants real quick. Uh, so, yeah, definitely um, eventful, if nothing else, these playthroughs. Let's, uh, take this guy out. Take him out. I don't know why my levees are so low right now. That's over and done with. Okay, so second in line to inherit the county of Auburn. Isn't that up here? How am I second in line for that? Huh. Oh, I'm like, really, I'm third in line. I don't know why it said second. Well, no, third in line for Auburn, and then I thought it said second for some. I don't know, maybe I'm losing my mind. Um. Yeah, okay, so we're increasing control. That's good. Lost bandits or whatever. I'm building barracks here, right? I am. Okay, let me look at what my firstborn is going to inherit. So I can build that up. He's going to get Verona. So we're going to build that up too. Uh, what is this? Long evening of state business with Duchess Perrine. Has slowly... Degenerate into both of us being deep in our cups, slurring swappy, saucy stories. Slurringly swapping saucy stories. I try to say that five times fast. I have just finished my retelling of a tale of a rather curvaceous pastry <laughs> when I, uh, I see an untoward gleam in my companion's eye. Thoughts of blackmail race. Yeah, I don't need to blackmail my wife. She's been pretty good to me. Hey, there you go! The family line continues. My, my son has had a son. My first grandson, he wants to name him after me, and I'm okay with that. Roderick II, he will be one day. Unfortunately, didn't get uh, intelligence, which is, well, I mean, it's all right. My son is a beast. I can't wait to play as him, which probably will happen uh, relatively soon. 56 years old. Uh, I am feeling fine, but we'll, uh, we'll see how it works out with that. My son does, I do, my son is going to have a half-brother to deal with, which I mentioned in my last game. That usually doesn't end up so well <clears throat> for whoever you're playing as, because I feel like half-siblings, maybe I'm wrong, but I think half-siblings gives less opinion bonus than regular siblings. Uh, I, I guess I'd have to check that out in the game, I'm not exactly sure if that's correct. You might be a duke, but you are, oh, this is my, my ex-wife, she's still pissed at me, huh? Oh. Well, maybe you should have given me a son earlier. She eventually did, like, right before I uh, divorced her. But, I don't know. Like, she just... 
I don't know why it took so long. I had to get a second wife who gave me a second son and two more daughters. They're all betrothed, right? Yeah, I, I remember I basically had to betroth all of my uh, children just so I had enough men to fight that war. Let me get Barcelona controlled real quick because that is my capital and I always want my capital to be um, in control. Complete control, that is. That's pretty good. My brother's uh, three counties will be divided between his three sons, uh, given that all of them live to receive it. How old is my brother? 53, so he's probably got, a, I don't know, 10 more years, maybe. I mean, in this game, you can never really know for sure, I guess. I, I might as well tutor my daughter, I guess. What powerful vassal expects a council position? Well, he's only got any intrigue, and he hates me. Is this the guy that... Yeah, it's one of my new guys. Well, sucks to suck, I guess. How's this guy like me? He likes me. Uh, drivel. I can see it is truly heartfelt. Sure, whatever. Good, I'm losing stress. That's always good. Oh, I thought the time was running. Jufri comes of age, my second son. Became a pretty decent martial uh, soldier. Could be better, but uh, could be worse. Oh, who's this? I guess he's betrothed. He's betrothed to... Who is he betrothed to? Giovanna Adorno. Italian woman. That's okay. We're still swaying the Pope. Make declaration. I can do it. Alright, so I'm going to lose one level of fame, which sucks, because I was distinguished. Breaking that truce really destroyed my fame, but you know what? I did it for the good of my realm, okay? I had to do it. And, I mean, at the end of the day, having excommunicated is just not good. I'm going to be way in prestige debt, probably never going to be able to declare war again in my life. But, I'm going to have to deal with it. Oh, my son had a daughter, looks like. Margarita. <laughs> Antonio Margariti. Anyone who uh, likes movies will get that reference. Jeez, now I'm just disgraced. I'm disgraced. <laughs> I literally sh dragged my uh, reputation through the gutter just because out of sheer anger because these counties were taken from me by some bullshit. Um, sure, you're great. I don't really care what the Pope thinks of me anymore because um, I was... He lifted my excommunication. So now, well, he likes me. I thought he didn't like me anymore, but okay. Let's go with that. Prepared for anything. Yeah, I don't want any hostile see, uh, scheme attempts on me. I suppose I could call a hunt so I can lose some stress. Beneficial deal. That's good. We ride. The fox. My world narrows to the nature surrounding us as we follow the fox on its escape through a ravine, riding side by side with Count Gumbau. I hear the thunder of hooves, dogs barking, men shouting. Excitement throws to me as I slowly gain on our quarry. We press on. Hopefully I'll get this fox. Oh my god, who is... Hold on. Good kill. I know that it is a killing shot before the arrow even finds its target. The fox stumbles and falls. We drown its wails with the shout of, shouts of victory. But this guy, this friggin' guy, why? Realm... Who's gonna inherit that? Probably the friggin'... Yeah, this guy again. He's still... I need to just destroy him. But I have a truce with him, and I, I'm never gonna be able to do it. Because uh, my prestige is just in the gutter. Although I did gain a, some back from that hunt. Whoa, what just happened to you? Two Navarras? Okay, am I missing something? <laughs> the Emirate of Navarra and the Kingdom of Navarra. I mean, all this is good. This is all good because they're all f getting fractured to shit. You know, 
Whoa, looks like they unified down here, though. That's, uh... I mean, it's more of a problem for Leon, but honestly, Leon might be my biggest rival at some point. I don't really want to fight them, but if I have to, I will. Because uh, I outlined this at the end of my last game. Basically, I want to snatch up this kingdom here. It's called Al Sark now, but I believe when I control it, it will be Valencia. Or something like that. So, yeah. Oh, my daughter uh, can get married again. I guess I don't really need to marry her for uh, alliances. Let's do that. Such want. All right, mental break. I'm distracted by licentious thoughts and lascivious thoughts and erotic fantasies. Blah blah blah. Let nobody and nobody but me enter the brothel tonight. I got it all myself. But it did say such behavior comes at a risk, so I guess we'll see that. And here's the risk. I got lovers pox. I have herpes. I believe that's what that is referring to. I can make sort of cynical. Well, I don't want uh, stress, so I'm just gonna choose what doesn't give me stress. My sister Sora died of her wounds. I don't know where she got those wounds, but. So, all right, at least my levies uh, kind of got up a bit. That's good. Going to get some more income with that. Who can I declare war on? I can declare war on Amir of Navarra. Well, I can't because I have... I wish it wouldn't tell me that I can when I have uh, literally no prestige to think of. I'm probably going to die before I can ever declare war again. I do have a lover's pox, but that doesn't give you a health uh, detraction. My niece was captured. Okay, that sucks, but really nothing I can do about that. Looks like we're about to transition towards compromise. What would compromise give us? Uh, where do I see that? Compromise. Okay, conciliation phase. The peninsula stands at a crossroads. Easy, more easily accept white peace. Just a bunch of stuff here. You could purchase a truce. Struggle clash, cast his bellies are expensive. That sucks. You still get that levy reinforcement though. More, uh, more opinion benefits for other cultures. Uh, temple, you could build more temples, right? Or completing buildings uh, with completing temples gives you piety. Okay, you know, just a bunch of stuff. They really uh, went all out on this Spain update here. It's kind of crazy that Spain, uh, Iberia gets, like, their own, like, little thing. Like, I wish, like, uh, I mean, maybe they will implement that in other regions at some point, but... I don't know. I did have an alliance with this guy, but I guess I don't anymore. Oh, uh, well, because I married, I think, my, uh... No? I don't know. Well, it says that they're my granddaughter. Oh, he had a wife before that, who was my daughter. She's dead, though. My only child that died is her. Oh, yeah. I guess I'll make count more. Oh, he needs to be increasing county control right now. Um, let's do Girona. Take 22 months. I suppose I can, well, I, I, I keep thinking that I can go to war, but I can't. I need to keep reminding myself that I can't. I am getting three a month, though, which isn't that bad. Maybe if I hold a feast, I can get some more. It's going to cost 100 gold, though. Whatever, I can know to make Welcome, friends. Am I an eager reveler? No, I'm a seducer. I unlocked a new core, uh, perk. An unmistakable smell roots man's mouth. My fearless liege, King Savory, is sensitive to coriander, something I sadly forgot to tell the cook. I bid you all welcome and pray the food. Oh, I could give him a... Ooh, I could, like, kill him. 
But that prestige, though, I can get a hook on him. Okay, I'd rather have the hook, to be honest. The hook plus the prestige, that's definitely good. Job done right. Feast, a single night. Unexpected bedfellow. Oh no, I banged my son's wife. My daughter-in-law I joined by desire. My husband, her husband must not be allowed to know and that's without mentioning my own wife. God damn. This is, I was, it's funny, I was just about to change to the skullduggery uh, focus too, which I'm gonna do now. Because the temptation stuff is getting a little out of control. Oh man, I just cucked my son. That means she might have a kid and it's, he's gonna think it's my grandson, but it's actually just his half brother. Oh, this is this is Crusader Kings. Let's make the most out of this moment. I game blow off steam. I lay with her. She become, all right. I don't want her to become my lover. Let us never speak of this. That's probably good. Has happened. I still bang her either way, right? What's the difference if I? It just gives me let more. Whatever. Let's just enjoy the moment. So I can get that. Until next time. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. I banged, uh, banged my son's wife. I did get eager reveler. That's good. Who can get married? My daughter to this guy. Sure. Yeah. Um, two powerful vassals expect council positions. I mean, this guy is not powerful. He's just a mayor. And this guy is only one less than him, so I guess I'll give him in there. And I, if I remember correctly, this guy sucks in intrigue, so is it my... No. Eh, whatever. He'll be alright. He still likes me. Maybe I can get another uh, Men at Arms. Well, I can't. I can only increase one of these. I remember getting these pikemen. I guess I can increase. Uh, it'll. In in yeah. Why not? It'll just. I can handle that. That uh, maintenance. Extra maintenance. Put me over 3,000 as my total soldiers. Faction created. Uh, it's just cattle and Catholic populace. Where is that, though? Is that down in my lands? Yeah, it's these guys. I mean, whatever. I don't I don't really You're already under the control of a Catalan. I don't know why you need to be populist. We're helping you. Okay, now they want me to liberate Alcanese. I mean that is close. Why would that give me stress? Because I'm arrogant? Prove your resolve to me. I mean it would give me it would give me, um, I gain promised liberation. Sure, why not? And they rise up, rose up. Lover's pox. My dear, I cannot express how sorry I am. Um, she gets rejected from the marriage bed. I mean, whatever, I'll give her lover's pox. I mean, if she's going to be so pissed at me, she it seems like she kind of wants it. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> right? Like, if she if she loses opinion because I don't want to give her lover's pox, it seems like she's not that bad. Well, that's good. Uh, did I get that plenary, uh, no, I didn't. Jeez, this thing's taking forever. How much longer? Eleven more years. I'll be dead by then. Uh, he will tell me what he knows. Threaten merchant. Everything's giving me stress. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna go with that. And of course, 30% chance and I... I got it. Such bullshit. Install Duke Anso of Armagnac on the Aquitanian throne. How's that faction looking? And he's the only member. I ain't joining that. I really don't care about the, uh... What's going on in France. I really care about what's going on in Iberia. Can I go hunting again? Maybe because once I can go hunting, I actually might be able to get my pre enough prestige to go to war again before I die. It's going to take until about a year. 
Oh, nope. Scratch that. I'm infirm. Yeah, I'm gonna be dead soon. Ah, oh, my wife is pissed. She's pissed. Probably because I've been sleeping around behind her back. A lot. I mean, hypothetically, I probably could survive for a little bit with the infirm, but once you get infirm, you basically, you're on the way out. That's uh, pretty soon. How's my county control looking? Okay. This is like the most peaceful Barcelona's been since, since I got Barcelona. Alliance expired. Well, that, a lot of good that did me. Yeah, maybe war isn't in the in the pipes for this. Um, what can I convert? Let's do that. I believe I already have a claim on that, right? Only problem is it's not going to be inherited. I have a bunch of claims. Wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong guy. Um, yeah, I do. I have a claim on all of it, and they're all unpressed, which is kind of bullshit. And now I'm ill. I'm definitely... Yeah, I'm about to die. Although, my court physician just kind of saved my life. Still not probably going to be dead soon, but, uh... The little skull popped up there just now, but, uh... Reduced disease symptoms, uh... Made it go away. The doctor helped me. Oh, no. No court physician. I need that. I mean, she's poor, but whatever. really no point in even doing this anymore but I might as well right? just took a massive levy hit not sure why just kind of seems to happen sometimes sure be temperate I think I'm going to hold off on building and stuff. I'm just going to let my money build up so that when I die, my son will be in a good financial position. And he's great at stewardship, so I feel like uh, my reign as him is going to be mostly focused on just getting my money up, like super. Basically just getting a shit ton of money is basically my, my goal, and using that to expand. I lost the trade ill. That's good, I guess. I could go hunting. Let's do it. If I can go to war one more time, I will. And this should put me into the positive. Definitely, now that I have, uh, we have, we're on the hunt, basically. We're on a good one. Is it a fox again? Oh, no, it's a heart. <laughs> okay. Good kill. Yeah, I'll definitely be able to go to war once I get this 150 in there. Let's do it. I mean, it's kind of dangerous because this is this is actually deja vu. This is exactly what happened when I was playing as Duke Jufri. Roderick, he died in the middle of a war that was going well, and then Roderick took over, and then the war went to shit. So that could happen again. We could have a little bit of deja vu, but I did promise I would liberate you. And I keep my promises. <clears throat> What the hell? Oh, my level of fame must not be disgraced. Oh, my God. What a... Pfft. I can't go to war just because I'm disgraced? How do you get fame again? It just kind of happens, right? Yeah, this is... I think it goes up with your prestige. That's such bullshit. What's an easy way to get fame? I'm gonna look that up. Excuse me. I got my phone here. I'm gonna look up. Get fame quick. CK3. And I'll look at that in a second. Marry into powerful fam. No, I don't care about prestige. I care about fame. I. Oh, well. Hunts and feasts. 
fame and random and alright, whatever. <sighs> Give me court spies. Maybe I can go on a pilgrimage. That might be good. Let's do that. Uh, we'll go to the Vatican. Time to depart. I am about to die anyway. It's only right that I, as a good Catholic, uh, go on a humble pilgrimage. As my party passes through a small town, I notice a throng of people filling the market square. At the center of man stands as an overturned fish cart. Day of judgment is nigh. Repent, repent, I say. You'll be damned for all eternity. Whisper to each other, fearful of the doomsayer's words. I am sure glad this pilgrimage comes with an indulgence. This man is not a priest. Cast him down. That's right. You're not a priest. All roads lead to Rome. Pilgrims flock to Rome from all over the Christian world. Some follow the Via Fran Francigena. Francigena. Others take uh, less well-known paths. In the end, we all converge here at St. Peter Peter's Basilica, where the great man himself was put to rest. Standing here with the other pilgrims, I see, I sense a feeling of solemn unity and fellowship shared amongst the gathered, all having overcome various trials and tribulations along their journey. All right, I got pilgrim. That didn't really help my fame at all. That, that's really a piety-based thing, so I don't know why I thought that would help. But whatever. Pilgrimage the return. When can I hunt again? Nine, like, four years. That's great. Can't have a feast for about a year. I'll probably be dead by then. I just really wanted to get that county. Just one more war. In and out. 20 minute adventure, right? Um. Why am I not endorsed? I guess I gotta sway you now. Hostility is transitioning into compromise. That's not good, because that's gonna make my prestige... I need even more prestige to launch wars now, but whatever. I guess it will calm things down on the uh, peninsula. 90 days, 30 days. August, I'll be able to feast. Compromise. Complete, wait, what did that say? Completing buildings in what? Completing buildings and castle holdings provides development growth. That's pretty good. When can I upgrade this castle? I, uh, I don't have the battlements invention yet. Still about six years for plenary assemblies. Okay, need a new marshal. You can go in there. My brother died. That was because my brother died. And now his lands should be split up, basically. Oh, looks like what one of his yeah one of his sons died, so it got split in two with this guy and then this guy. That bugs me how he's disconnected and then this guy just gets Rosello. But whatever. Come on. Barcelona dynasty is known far and wide. That's good, I guess. We're noteworthy. Getting ahead, smooth talker. All right. And I are held in steam. We should work. Yeah, I think we should work together as fellow vassals, not against each other. I really just don't care, honestly, about this point, because I'm going to be dead soon. And I really just want to get one more war in before I die. Oh, wait, I have a hook on, uh... Right? I thought I had a hook on my liege. I, I probably... I do. Okay. I'm going to use that to modify my uh, contract even further. I could change my, is this my nephew, right? No, he's my nephew's son. I'm gonna make your feudal vassal, well, you, it would only give me 30. That would only give me 0.1. What am I doing? Um, let me look at some of these. War declaration, well, where is he again? Where is he? He's, a, he's right there. I don't really need to Count Gilliam's opinion. Whatever, I'll take some more taxes. And then let me get this hook on you. Let's modify my contract. I already made it so I have low uh, vassal contribution. Although I suppose I could be protected from... Why not? 
My obligations have already been changed. I can't change it twice? That's lame. What's the point of getting hooks? What is this? Oh, I didn't even notice. My daughter is now grown, but still a year until Herbert Carling over there gets grown. Well, oh, nope. There it is. Yep, I'm about to die. Not even really a point to hold this feast then. I'll just go to war. Well, I won't. I'm gonna lose all these claims though. That's what sucks. Um, yeah, but I really, being at war when you transition from one ruler to another is, as we've seen in my previous episodes, a bad idea. We got a counselor. I mean, I'll reassign you because their ch their uh, dip diplomacy was exactly the same. Come on, take me, take me into the sweet embrace of death. We can move on to playing as Duke Gerard, who has 28 years old, pretty good. 20 stewardship, that's big. Uh, nope. Lope is dead. My best friend and true, my best and truest friend, cut down, taken by the cold embrace of death before his time. Before his time, he's 64. I weep, I wail, I tear at my hair and my clothing, but I know I'll never see him again. How can I go on? Lope, or is it Yope? My sweet Yope would want me to, and I have to hope that his memory can sustain me through dark times. But it seems like a candle. Well, I'm gonna be dead anyway, so what's the point? Famished. Honestly, that'll make me die sooner, so I'm just gonna do that. I've had a good life. It's time to end. Time to exit this world. An eventful life, at least, for sure. Unmet obligate. Oh man, <laughs> I didn't take that county. Well. In the end, Duke Roderick was a complicated figure. I'm sure the uh, the eulogy that the game will provide me will be like, he was a vile and disgusting creature. Oh, my son had a daughter. We can name her Cecilia. Might as well have a court physician. Oh, Gerard himself can be my court position, uh, physician. Did my ex-wife die? She did. Died of consumption. Twenty-one months until the control is up. Man, I'm holding on. I'm clinging to life. Waiting, waiting, waiting. So... I guess I could take a look at what I could do. Develop capital. That's always an interesting thing. Would give me 40, 80. It would give me 80 stress, but honestly, since I'm on my way out, I don't really see a problem with it, right? Starved. Come on. <laughs> Die already. <laughs> I'm just trying to starve myself out. Another grandson. Nice. Okay. Gumbao. Pagan. That's an interesting name. Pagan. The only time I've ever seen someone named Pagan is uh, Far Cry 4, Pagan Min. But okay, I'm dead. So, Duke Roderick of Barcelona has found peace in Christ's embrace at 67 years of age. He died of old age, known as or starvation. Known as a libertine man, true. He was gifted with a silver tongue, able to charm anyone into sharing his bed. Duke Gerard ascends to the throne, being both thrifty and frugal. The realm will surely prosper under his rule. get my counselors in okay we're gonna go with stewardship I think we're gonna go with well focus and okay our levies are looking a little light do we still have allies we do not 
But it's a good thing I have children. We can get Lombardi right there. I would definitely take that. Get that alliance in. But actually, I think with the passing of Roderick and the ascension of Duke Gerard, we're in a good position, I think, to maybe stop for the day. Uh, maybe I'll record again later. I'm not really sure. I just kind of hopped on because I felt the urge. Let me just uh, educate my sons real quick. Well, you can do that. What about my other son? Okay. Two wards. Powerful vassal. Not endorsed by a bishop. Let's sway him. Let me just get some of this stuff out of the way before I sign off. What else do I got? Okay. Declare wars. Let me just take a look at how that would turn out. They suck. What about the Emirate of Navarra? Lots of prestige. I'm going to have to build up my prestige. I got no claims. Although, okay. Yeah, but overall, I think, you know, pretty nice little playthrough we just did. We've moved on to Duke Gerard. Duke Roderick is now in the grave. And uh, I think we will see an eventful next game with lots of war, maybe some intrigue, and lots of uh, development with my uh, Midas Touch son here. So yeah, I think uh, that's it for the day, guys. I'll uh, see you later.